So there was some leaked information and I wasn't too sure if it was real or not, but just today it got verified. So I know that this is legit. And this, of course, impacts sales and deliveries going forward for the next couple of months and potentially even years to come. These are pretty big. These are pretty big. Now, of course, they relate to promos and discounts, etc. Sort of like price cuts. And if you seen my video yesterday about Weltmeister bankruptcy and what Liotto's doing with a lot of their promos and giving all sorts of random stuff, ear pods, Dyson V8 vacuums, tents etc to get sales essentially well neo is essentially moving towards that step and let me explain so first of all first thing that they talked about was the dedicated discount voucher for existing new owners 866 gen 1 new owners so for me i have the ec6 and when the ec6 launched then i got the 6600 rmb discount voucher for the ec6 but a lot of people complained you know, how come I can only upgrade to the same vehicle model? I want to upgrade to a different vehicle model, maybe even a more expensive one. It makes no sense. So, of course, Neil has changed that so that this discount voucher can be used for all vehicles. So, for me, I got 6,600 RMB discount for all vehicle models if I want to buy a new Neil. That's for me, all right? And then ES8 owners, all right, first gen ES8 owners. First gen ESA owners get 10,800 discount, straight up discount for any vehicle model. And then if you're a founder, so one of the founder ESA owners, then you get 15,800 RMB discount straight up towards any vehicle model. And this is only a one time uh, discount voucher. It's only, you only have one of these. But on top of that, you'll have other discounts for uh perspective neo owners for example if i buy another neo i get fifty four thousand bonus neo points and certain discounts as well so it's pretty uh they're going pretty hard for um, existing new owners to buy another neo and then number two is the showroom card discount and this is slightly different from inventory car because showroom car is the cars placed inside showrooms uh people have maybe perhaps sat inside the showroom cars and perhaps even uh, played around with the screens, etc., etc. So that's a showroom car. And showroom cars also get a discount. Now, showroom cars have always gotten a discount. I'm not sure why they added this in. Perhaps they really increased the level of discount. And according to this leak, the showroom car discount can go as high as 18,000 RMB if you take delivery of that showroom car within this month. So that's 18,000. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's on top of the existing showroom car discount or if that's just a straight up, uh, that's what the discount is. If it's on top of the existing showroom car discount, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. But you're seeing this happen with all the brands. Liotto is also doing it with their showroom cars. If you want to buy a showroom car for Liotto, they also give you a massive discount as well. I mean, buying a showroom car, even though it's not brand, brand new, it's still fairly brand new and that gets you a very, very good deal. So for the example, he said, a showroom car that's been in a showroom for more than 30 days, starting tomorrow, can get a discount of up to 18,000 RMB. That's very different from before, all right? Before, the showroom car discount, 30-day showroom car only gets about 6,000 RMB a discount. So this is three times more. That's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. I, I, I gotta let this, uh, I gotta absorb this in. And then this is also a new one. So for a inventory car, so inventory car includes new cars and also showroom cars. Those are all grouped together as inventory cars. Basically, cars without a dedicated buyer all right if you plan to buy inventory car this month or i guess for the coming coming months you get thirty thousand bonus neo points holy crap that's worth about three thousand rmb quite a substantial amount that's that's pretty good that's pretty good man i, I mean like and this is all stackable uh, i'm trying to grasp what the whole entire picture looks like it's going to be massive discount i mean like holy moly and then 
a straight up 5,000 RMB price cut on all inventory cars. Straight up, straight up. Uh, for existing uh, new cars, if you want to build a new car, then you have to pick upwards to 5,000 RMB of specs and that would be free. So you get 5,000 worth of free options. But for inventory cars and, and, and also showroom cars, you get 5,000 straight off, cut off. That's that's insane. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, like, damn. So I have a friend who is a very close family friend, and, and she is leaning towards buying a Neo. She used to be leaning towards buying a Tesla, but then Tesla got banned in a lot of different areas, and you're not allowed to drive Teslas there. So it's pretty much like she ruled Tesla out. No way I'm buying Tesla. No, 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 no. Because you, it's so troublesome to all of a sudden not be able to drive there. And then she was also considering Lee Auto, but I explained to her what Lee Auto is all about. She knows the advantages, she knows the disadvantages, and she likes battery swap more. So it seems like she's probably leaning towards buying a Neo. Maybe next year, maybe this year, hopefully this year. So I'm still like working towards talking her into this. And then possibly we might buy it through my account. If we buy it through my account, I get all the new owner uh, purchasing perks that of course I'll pass on to her. And then all these extra benefits as well. And holy moly, I mean, I'm gonna let you guys know what the price is gonna be if we do buy the new. That's gonna be absolutely amazing. So this is essentially going heavy handed and giving more discounts, promotions, but at the target, the target is more to clear out inventory. So that is a very good move. I like what they did with the voucher 6,600. It, it doesn't have to be another EC6 for me. It could be an ES6 or EC7 or ES8. That's very nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. Obviously, the competition is very, very intense, very, very rough. Zeker just launched the FR version of the Zeker, and uh, it's actually available for sale soon. And that car and Zeker is getting a lot of attention because that car is just the fastest car right now in China, pretty much, a uh, production car. Even faster than the Tesla Model S Plaid, apparently. A lot of patriotism is shifting towards that car because it really shows that China is able to buy, uh, build a EV, a car that's even better than the Americans. That's, that's very interesting. Competition is obviously very intense and Zeker's deliveries have been increasing these past months. It's good to see that Neo is stepping up the game for these uh, promos. By the way, I got an excellent video lined up for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be the second video for tomorrow. Can't wait to let you guys see. There's a launch event I'm going to. It's going to be amazing. All right, as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.